Alrighty, and we should be live. Hi! <laughs> so, you might be surprised to see me again. Uh, believe it or not, I am alive. Barely. <laughs> I've been having a lot of trouble lately with personal stuff, and anyways, <laughs> I am alive. I, I probably should have posted somewhere telling you that, but that's okay, um, because I'm back now. Hi! So today, what we're trying to do is last minute well, final preparations to finish up this head here so that we can um, fur it. So we're not taping it up yet. That's next time. Well, maybe. Depends on how fast we go. Um, but don't worry. I've got a little list. So let's go down the list and make sure we actually do the things that we need to do to fur this thing. Okay. Um, okay, give me just a second. My mom just called me. Also, I gotta kind of wait for some people to show up. It's been so long since I've streamed that I'm worried that nobody will remember me. <laughs> I mean, it's been like maybe a month. Um, okay. I texted her back. I said I just said I am streaming. <laughs> I don't I don't want to ignore her, but at the same time, you know, I I don't want to annoy you guys. Okay, first things first on my little list here. Um tongue. Okay. So, when you're when you were working on sculpting the face here, if, if you're trying to figure out how wide to make the mouth and stuff, something very important, so a good thing that you can keep in mind is you gotta be able to fit the tongue in there, right? So if you have a tongue, and you try to like, it, and you try to like put it in there, and the mouth is like too skinny or way too wide, it'll be way easier uh, to note to notice that. So if you want to draw up a like a tongue or something and kind of just put it in there, just like a paper, just draw a paper tongue and stick it in there. Just imagine where you're gonna put the teeth and the tongue. It'll help you. <laughs> hey Sonic, how you doing? I didn't I didn't expect the first thing to to hear from you again was to be like a, a poem of of sorts, but <laughs> Halo. Oh Hey dude, how you doing? I know I'm alive. I'm shocked as you are, seriously. Also, it's really dark. Oh no, it's really light. Okay. You do not want to know how much trouble I had getting the second- Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> the second camera working. Because as soon as- as soon as I turned on the light, I bumped the camera. It's not easy being- being, uh, surrounded by 80 cameras, because if you accidentally bump just one... I had, like, basically every family emergency ever. And it just sucks because it's just been a chain of family emergencies for me. And since I'm the only one around, really, <laughs> I'm the one that can help. <laughs> there's there's no no one else in my family can physically help but me. It, it was it, it fell to me. So yeah, it's it kind of sucks, but you know, it's my family calls, you know. <sighs> Yeah, my uncle died, too. <laughs> Everything's happening. And it wasn't even long since my, uh, my grandpa just passed, too. So it's like, I don't even know what's going on, man. Life is just hitting me. It's just, just picking up, picking up clover and just throwing me. <laughs> Thank you, Sonic. <laughs> it's been sucky. Oh, no, is the hug command not working? No! Okay, the hug command. Oh, do you have to say at? I don't remember. Why? Why is it? I swear I did not turn off the commands. Come on, I'm gone for a few weeks and the commands just stop working. I'm gonna try. Uh. Did it work? Dang! Okay! 
I guess Cloudbot's dead now. <laughs> Gee, welcome back, Clover. Hope you didn't want your second camera, and I hope you didn't want your bots. <laughs> Rip, right? That's depressing. Alright, I guess that's just another thing I've got to do. I've been gone for so long, like, just out and about traveling, helping family, and it's just... I... <laughs> It's like my first real normal day back and I've had so much just like little little fixing of things to do and I guess that's that's next on my list I guess is to make my bots work okay so this is a paper tongue I have there's lots of little notes on here I guess I can read them to you all right so let's start with just the shape it's a tongue so it's just basically a long rectangle, but the top is curved. And you can see a line right here all the way around the edge. And that's just kind of like a decoration line that I like to do on my tongues. And this middle line that goes down is also kind of like a decoration, but it's kind of necessary to make it look like a tongue. Um, right here. Oh yeah, I said sew lines. So sew the lines here. And right here. So, this is like a medium-sized tongue. It doesn't fit in the mouth. It's It hangs out just a little bit. And for this kind of a tongue, I like it to kind of droop down. So, I put stuffing right here to try to weigh it down so it kind of flops. Anyways, I didn't intend to explain my entire tongues. That's another, that's another time we're explaining tongues. But, uh, and the Velcro, that's where I would stick the Velcro on the tongue right here. But, yeah. So, anyways... I got out my little tongue pattern, and I can hold it up and look at it in here. Imagine it sitting in there. Imagine where you're going to put the teeth on either side, or if you're going to have teeth all the way down, and up here, teeth coming out. That's like the kind, that's kind of stuff you got to um, imagine ahead of time before you finish the foam process. That's why I'm telling you now, because if you draw up a tongue and you put it in there, and your mouth is way too wide or too thin, you're gonna regret it. So right now, this is the time to fix it before we start furring. So here's my shorter tongue. You can see that one fits right in there and it looks much better. Yeah, what the heck though? Why did my, why are my cloud bot, uh, is the entirety of cloud bot down or is it just the hug command? I don't have a lot of commands, so. I don't even remember my other commands. What else can you even do? I, I, I'm just gonna assume all of Cloudbot is down. I'm sorry about that, guys. Maybe I accidentally clicked something somewhere. <laughs> Figma! <laughs> Hi, how you doing? <laughs> Yee. By the way, how have you guys been? I, I, I went on and on about how I've been, but I didn't... I didn't say how you guys have all been, because I haven't talked to you in a while. This is my extremely long tongue. It's for if you want to put, like, a wire in it, and you can bend it, like, to come up and around, or however you want to do. I don't know why I got this out. I just thought it was funny. Anyways, I just needed to go over that tongue point really quickly. Um, know where your tongue is, know what size you want, and know where you want the teeth. You been good? Oh, it's good. Kind of bored. <laughs> yeah. You know, I don't blame you, man. You, mm, you know, everybody, okay. I want to talk about that new Sonic game, though. I'm wondering when that's coming out, because I want to play it. <laughs> All right. It's, it kind of looks like Breath of the Wild, but Sonic, and everything is going open world these days. And I like open world games, but it kind of worries me a little. Fan. Okay. Import. Here's another. Sonic. Sonic Frontier. Yeah. That's what it's called. Okay. If you want to put a fan in the muzzle, um, you need to imagine where that's going to be. You can't just, like, again, with the teeth and the tongue, same thing. You got to know where it's going to be. You got to imagine where it's going to be. So, it might be a good idea to get your fan, like, have your fan by this point. Don't wait till the very end to get your fan, but the fans are usually pretty small. Um, shoot, maybe I should talk about fans for a second. If I can find mine. 
<laughs> this would be where my fan box was. If I had one. Actually, I really do have a fan box. Fursuit fans and electronics. I have to label everything or I, get, I lose it. I also keep, like, too many batteries in here. Alright. Um. I've got fans in here. It says fans. A lot of these fans are just things I was testing and messing around with. Like, here's one of those little side fans. It's kind of cute. Um. I've got a little itty bitty fan here. Little little itty bitty fan. It's like the size of a quarter about. It's very tiny. Okay, but where's the normal fans? Alright, then there's this size fan. This is probably like what are the sizes? I can't even remember. I think normal times is like 30, 50, 80 millimeters, something around there. And I haven't bought a fan in a while because last time I just stocked up and bought a few, but I don't know where I put them. Apparently they're not in my box. So here's here's the kind of fan we're after, right? It's just a small little computer fan. I'll leave a link uh, in the YouTube video description of wh what fan I usually get. He'll put fans inside, yeah! At least, at the very least, just one in the muzzle right here so you can breathe. So usually I'll get one of these fans, and I'll get one that ends in a USB. And the reason for that is, if you don't choose one that ends in a USB, uh, <laughs> well, either you're gonna have to mod it yourself, or you're stuck with one of these little things being at the end. This little, this little piece. And you kind of really need, you need it to end in a USB, so you can plug it into one of those little, uh, USB, like, travel portable USB power packs. Which is kind of a two-edged sword, because as soon as you plug one of these into a USB, that's only, the USB can only go up to 5 volts, so it's, it's not, it immediately, like, nerfs the, the power of the fan, but it's like, you can't, can't do anything about it, so. I just, I choose a fan, when I'm shopping for fans, I choose a fan that's already connected to a USB, so I don't have to do it. And has the highest, uh, oh man, what's it called? It's like a, um, the amount of air that blows through per second. Anyways, <laughs> yeah. RPM? Not that either. I think it's CPM or something like that. But yeah, let me get out the little, oh, I dropped it. Let me get out the little baby one. <laughs> So this little baby fan I got to try and it's kind of noisy because okay well there's another thing about fans like it is possible to get a fan this big and this big and an even a bigger one that actually pushes the same amount of air through and the difference would be that the smaller the fan the louder it is so generally you want as big of a fan that can fit in your suit, um, that isn't too big, but also the most important thing is the higher the CPM, the, I, th I swear, I think it's CPM, that the higher the amount of air that gets pushed through, uh, per second. So, even though this tiny little baby fan is pretty powerful, I would prefer to have a bigger one because it pushes... These bolts push the same amount of air for if it, an example. This is an example. I don't know if they do, but this one would be quieter. So, I mean, this one's cute, but man, it is really loud. <laughs> Normally, loud fans don't bother me, but if you're in a fursuit and you're wearing, it's like a couch. It's like putting a, your head in a couch cushion. You can't hear much. It's just, so if this is really loud, it'll make it harder for you. So, yeah, this one right here. Obviously does not end in a USB, because um, it's a computer fan. It's meant to hook up to computers, so you would have to chop, uh, I think, the yellow wire completely, and the red and black wire would be 
you would you'd have to wire that into a USB or a battery box that you could plug a battery into. Anyways, I didn't want to get too far into fans today, but I did want you to know just the basics of what you need to know for a fursuit fan. So yeah, this one's a little bit big. The one I I think so. The one I get is a little bit different than this one. Again, I'll put it in the description if you want to see what I usually buy. Oh, you ran like half a mile on a treadmill. Dude, treadmills mess me up because like, when, as soon as I get off, I can't walk normal. Does that happen to you too? Especially if you're on there for a, that long, like running, running half a mile. Jeez, I hate running. Running is awful. That begs the question, why did you do that? <laughs> Exercise is dumb. <laughs> I guess exercise is necessary, but. Okay. Big B's mouth is huge. So at one point I had this huge mother fan in there. And this was my first attempt at wiring up a fan. So it's pretty dodgy. So here's the battery box. <laughs> you put tons of batteries in there. And then... It's taped up, and uh, it's got the little switch. I put a switch on there. And then this huge fan could fit in his mouth. He has a big mouth. So, <laughs> it was dodgy, but it was quiet, and it kept me cool, so. Now I just prefer to get smaller fans that just push harder with the air, so. You get dizzy, it's weird. Health! <laughs> right? Jeez, like, I hate running. You gotta do it for health, but man... Hey, Mr. Wacky Stuff, that's funny. Do I sell those? Oh, you know, I haven't thought about it, but I totally could. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, it's really weird. You gotta be careful because people are just terrible. At any kind of art commission, it, it shouldn't be this way, but it's scary because you don't know if people are gonna try to con you. But yes, I do. I do sell stuff, I make commissions. Um, I haven't sold just straight up fans before, but I could. <laughs> I mean, if you, if you wanted to order a fan, just a fan, you could do that. Um, because I'll give you the link to do that. But if you want me to show you how to install it in a fursuit head, uh, that, that I could do. That I could, that's something I could sell if I wanted to. <laughs> but yeah, I do take commissions. weird yeah it's weird like i've met so many nice furries but i have met a few not so nice <laughs> most most people are really nice that i've met so maybe you're just seriously unlucky i have no idea <laughs> i'm gonna apologize on behalf of them uh being total jerks to you that's not right <laughs> not all of us are like that i have no idea seriously that's crazy Oh, Avengers, you, um, hold on. Hi, first of all, hi. I thought you were Sonic, uh, since you first posted this whole time, because you were both blue, and, uh, quite frankly, I need some new glasses. <laughs> uh, sorry about that. That makes more sense why you would get dizzy now. <laughs> I was like, yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> You have a what? Uh, a whole Earthbound fan? You've lost me. <laughs> I like Earthbound, though. It's kind of a weird game. I haven't gotten far in it, but I'm sorry. I've, you've lost me. <laughs> you've been speaking who to people who do the same as you, and they feel the same way. That's crazy. That's just... I have no idea how that... People. People! I, there's so many untrustworthy people. I just don't understand. Why has everybody got to be mean to each other and cheat each other? Like, especially if you're somebody who's trying to be like a, like sell like a service or something or make stuff. I mean, you said you said you make stuff, right? I mean, I'm sure you don't cheat people. Like, come on. <laughs> 
We, we need to teach people of the world to be nice people. Okay. Um, one more thing on the fan before I move on from fans. Make sure you know... Where did I put it? Oh, yeah. This is the... First of all, this is the fan that I usually get. I hope they stop... Uh, never stop selling these. Because I researched for a long time to find one that blew a lot of air and was a small form factor and ended in a USB. So this is the one I usually use. So if you hit the fan, you can hold it up and figure out where you're going to install it in the muzzle and make sure that it's, like, at a good spot. Like, make sure there's not too much weirdness up here or the muzzle's not too low or too high it might be too high because if i put this here it might it might be too up high up for the wearer so actually it's a good thing i'm testing this now um <laughs> yeah you are sponge man speaking of which we really got to finish our spongebob uh or just continue i guess we have a few episodes left our series <laughs> yeah, you know, I totally agree. Um, I'm, I'm just gonna read your comment out loud. It's just odd. I don't know people. I know people don't like furries, but I don't care. They seem to have made a real bad name for themselves in the custom gear scene. Seriously, I, I seriously, it's true. Like my first commission that I ever bought from somebody else ended up being a scam. Like, <laughs> come on, people. You know, I didn't. I, I don't think I was aware that it was that bad, uh, as you say, but um, I don't I don't really buy lots of custom stuff on my own, really. So I, I guess I don't know super firsthand how bad furries are, but that's not great. If it's as bad as you're saying, that's kind of sucky. <laughs> I've never had trouble other than one other time, but. Seeing as I've only ever commissioned people maybe, like, ten times, maybe for, like, pieces of art, and only one out of ten was bad, that's still not a great odds, either. It should be, ideally, zero out of ten would be bad, uh, transactions. Yeah, Avengers. Oh, I put it away. I had, <laughs> I had this huge, huge fan, and I did call it the mother fan, you're right. <laughs> See, I don't remember anything I say. Takes me like eight hours to. <laughs> okay, after after three seconds have passed, I should say, then my mind is just wiped. It's like a goldfish, man. You can't expect me to remember what happened five minutes ago. All right, so I am looking at this, and it does appear that this would be a great spot for the fan. And if I wanted to, because the muzzle is kind of wide, I actually could put a bigger fan in here if I wanted to. But I really like this fan. Uh, I think this is a good fan for my needs and for fursuits that I make, so I'm still sticking with this one. But if I wanted to, I could go bigger. It would just make it a little bit quieter, is all. But, frankly, it's really hard to find fans that can send, like, push out a lot of air. So, um, even if I got a bigger one, it might not be as strong as these little guys. These guys are powerful. Okay, next thing on my list here. Um. Oh, yes, I was talking about the liner. Let's wait on that. Oh, that one's gonna take me a minute. The tongue, yeah, we talked about the tongue. Liner, fan. Ooh, yes, yes. Okay. The trick that I use when I'm mirroring stuff. So, okay, we got the... Uh, there's just not enough space here. Frankly, I just, I need a bigger desk. I have nowhere to put this box. Okay, I'm proud of you for going to the gym. That's not easy, seriously. And I'm glad you didn't pass out either. <laughs> I will see you later. Okay, so. Um, my tips for mirroring. Mir mirroring. Symmetry! Same thing. So, by this point, it should you should already be, like, I don't know, basically done anyways, but I realized that I never actually really mentioned it on camera, how I checked the symmetry. So let's do that now! 
Um, so, okay, I did mention a few things. But the main way I do it is, first I'm going to take out the eyes because they'll fall. I look at it head on, straight in front of me, head on. And I will crush it flat like this. Uh, there's not enough space here. My, my cameras are way too close. There we go. All right, if you flatten it like this, I mean, obviously don't flatten it at an awkward angle. Just try to flatten it nice and straight together. Then, from the bottom, you're able to notice oddnesses, like with the, sh the shape of the jaw on either side. You're able to compare right here, the cheek's easier, the bottom. This whole cheek area is much, much easier to um, look at when you have it crunched together like this. And you can see how even these two pieces are completely symmetrical. And that's probably because I was smushing it together like this to try to get it even. So any any kind of awkward, like if this side was too flat, this one was too bulbous, you're, ab you're able to see a lot of problems when you squish it like this. And you're even able to kind of like compare where the ears start on either side, make sure one's not pushed too far back or too high up, like too, too tall. And that's, that's one way I like to deal with symmetry. And you can do it up at the top too, but the only, honestly, the only place this helps me is if I'm trying to get the cheeks even. And really, it's not that even help, that helpful, really. Basically, anytime you're trying to deal with this bottom area, smush it together. If you're trying to deal with the top area, it's a lot harder, but I take photographs and use the mirror function on your photograph and you can see lots of issues or if you need to just st uh, step away take a break and come back like 15 minutes to a half hour later and then you'll be able to see oh this cheek doesn't look right so honestly um in my workroom when i'm done for the day i'll set up i'll set up the head whatever i'm doing and i'll actually face it towards the door so that the next day i come in I'll just walk in and the first thing I'll see is this head looking at me and then I just immediately my brain will be like "Ooh, that ear is too tall or oh that eye socket is a little slanted so uh, getting fresh eyes on it very helpful yay Sonic's back <laughs> how you doing <laughs> all right so yeah that's so, I, obviously, I can't see this side, and I can't see the other side at the same time. So, t taking a photo of this, flipping it around, taking a photo of this, that would help um, both sides. And really just holding it in your hands. Even looking, I mean, I, I took the liner out. If you don't have a liner in here, it's a little bit easier to see. But just even looking from the inside, you can try to make sure that the eyes are, like, the same height and everything is symmetrical. Just... And uh, my final trick for symmetry and mirroring, mi mi mirroring, it's such a, it's, I say it way too fast. Uh, I put it on. And then I look in the mirror. So actually, believe it or not, I have a mirror right here. And it's not you. <laughs> I have a mirror behind. And I'll kind of just do this. Just look around. And sometimes I can see mistakes. Mistakes that I wouldn't have noticed. It looks kind of creepy without the eyes, though, doesn't it? There we go. Much better. Yeah, it looks good to me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> it looks so funny. You know what would be weird is if you made a fursuit head and then it was... Like, the color of the fur was this, like, white but slightly creamish tinted. Because you know how foam turns slightly yellowed over time? Like, this foam is not pure white. Slightly tinted yellow. So if you had, like, cream fur that was the same color that you put over it, it would just be weird. Because it's like you might as well have not furred it even because it's the same color. <laughs> Anyways, I uh, one more question somebody asked me was... How do you know if it's too lumpy or if it looks, or if it's like smooth enough yet? Or if you need to keep adding layers and smoothing it more? How do you know when you're done smoothing it? And frankly, you <laughs> experience. <laughs> but if you take a 
This is a balaclava I have sitting around. You just take some kind of thin fabric and just lay it on top. This isn't easy because this, is, this isn't just a straight piece of fabric. Since it's a balaclava, it's rounded. But you guys will get the... You guys will get the idea. Okay. Alright, so you just lay it on top like this. And is it relatively smooth? Like, it doesn't have to be perfect. Um, there we go. Is it relatively smooth? Or do you have some big dips in there? Or do you have something really, really protruding? Really poking out badly? Because this is actually great. Um, for faux fur or minky, it's fine. Since this is a really thin, um, balaclava, it's, it's gonna show more. So if I was trying to purposely use, like, a, a snakeskin colored, um, performance spandex fabric, I would probably make this much more smooth. But with faux fur, this is completely fine. And in fact, it would be worse if you spent more time trying to smooth it out, because... First of all, you wouldn't see it if you spent the time and effort smoothing it more. Second of all, it would just make it heavier with more glue. So, you don't want to overdo it. That's, in in art, you can over-render something. Um, like, if, if you're painting a digital piece of art and you, you over-render it, that's like if you put too much effort into it and it looks kind of unnatural and strange. So yeah, the over-rendering of this would be making everything perfectly smooth, because that would actually just make it worse. Yeah, Sonic, <laughs> you're with me on this. <laughs> Alright, so that's what I wanted to say about mirroring and symmetry. Let's see what else we got here. The fan, the liner, I'll get to that. Mirroring, tongue, yeah. Eyelids. Okay, so if you want eyelids, let me put these eyes back in. Okay, make sure that they're angled the right way too because sometimes it's really easy to have them slightly angled the wrong way and that'll mess you up. Okay, so if you have a character, they just, just in general, most characters are built to have eyebrows that go and make expressions, and eyelids. Eyelids blink. Eyebrows show expression. So, fursuits are strange because unless you have moving eyebrows on your fursuit, like I know some of the more for less suits have like magnetic eyebrows, but I'm not a fan of those. I'll talk about it later. Anyways, <laughs> um, the thing is, if you have a static suit, like if you have a static eyebrows that don't move and you try to get that expression through the eyelids instead of the eyebrows, it can look strange unless you're being super careful about it. It's like the same as if I was trying to make mad eyes with my uh, eyelids but I had happy, happy eyebrows like... <laughs> It looks weird. It, it just looks strange. So, um, but there's not much you can do about that unless you have movable eyebrows and even those look strange and I, at least at the moment, I'm not a fan of them. I prefer, I prefer static eyebrows because instead of having ones that move and look slightly uncanny all the time, you can have it perfectly sculpted and at least one expression is just perfect. Um, but that's personal preference. Same with moving jaws. They're very, very cool. Lots of people love them. I don't care for them as much because I would prefer to have that one, this one shape that looks perfect rather than a moving jaw that has slight, slight imperfections at whatever angle it is because that's just the way it needs to be built to work. And it's just 100% a completely a personal preference. I'm all about that aesthetic, and if I build it completely static like this, I can make it have that perfect aesthetic that I love, so. That's just me, but if you still want eyelids, you can you can do expressions with eyelids. Just be aware of how it looks in comparison with the eyebrows, especially if your eyebrows are unmoving like mine. So, 
what you can do is hopefully I mean my eyes are 3d printed if you want I can go on a, a little rant on how I can make how you can make foam eyes or you could just buy 3d printed eyes which honestly might be the way to go but either way you have an eye you should have an eye by this point if you don't have an eye that's a problem because you need it to kind of sculpt the whole head you should have an eye finished by now but not glued in do not glue it in that's like the last step of building a fursuit head all right so when you have this eye you can trace it on a piece of paper and then you can use that to make perfectly fitting eyelid pieces so the eye this eye uh right here this is about the angle it's at it's not like this or like this it's kind of just right here like that so make sure when you're doing the eyelids you know exactly which angle this eye is at because if I made an eyelid and then I realized that the eye is more angled down or more angled up than I thought it would look really silly so make sure you know the exact angle the exact straight angle of the eye and then you can just uh, draw up some eyelids on paper and you can tape them on there you can take a picture uh, you can use a different color paper if you want basically just make lots of practice ones and whatever eyelids you've decided you like those are the ones that you'll keep and you'll make into some uh, eyelid covers and I'm not gonna go over that now because we're gonna go over eyes in a future episode but you are gonna need to be aware of this step right now you're gonna have to be aware of what it will look like compared to the foam because you can't change the foam after we fur it so just be aware try try out some eyelids and then as soon as you're done with the eyelids you know what you want them to look like then you then you're good with the foam so we will do eyelids more later but that was kind of more of like a we just had to touch on it <laughs> hi dadgers it's been a while um yeah so what happened was uh basically i spent an entire day trying to get on my flight to come home because i've been busy with family anyways um i oh i basically had to pull an all-nighter and it was awful and then i worked at 4 p.m so i slept in all day and now i'm backwards but i have to work tomorrow at 9 a.m so you know <laughs> you know what <laughs> I don't, I don't know where I where I stand right now, but I know I'm going to be tired. <laughs> How are you doing, Dadgers? <laughs> Sonic says, what would you do if you finished an entire suit and realized a mistake you never saw until you finished it? <laughs> it's happened. It's happened. It's not great. It depends on the level of the severity of the situation. Like, um, let's see. Because, you know, feet paws are, are part of a suit. Like, it depends if it's, like, a part of the head or, like, because, like, you know, fursuits are in parts. They're, it's not just one big thing, so. Uh, so, if it was, like, a foot paw, like, feet paws, and I made them too small, that would be very sad. There's not, not a single thing I could do about that. If it was like a head and I made it too small, I might be able to do something about it. If I rip out the inside liner and then carve away some of the foam on the inside and then re reline it, and that would take hours. That would have taken me at least two days' work, but it would be it would be fixable. But yeah, um, honestly, the worst mistake you can do is making something too small because you'd have to start over. But lots of, lots and lots of mistakes can be fixed. I mean, I've had a fursuit head half furred before and rips the whole thing off because I didn't like how the foam work looked, so. <laughs> almost everything is fixable. Almost. It would just suck. <laughs> oh, you're hanging in there. That's good, Dadgers. You've got a lot going on, too. I'm sure. It's too much to go through now. Yeah. And plus bedtime. Yeah, yeah, bed. Oh, I missed streaming too. And I missed watching your streams. <laughs> yeah, um, 
I have work for the next four days in a row, so I, I'm not going to be streaming for a few days, but then I get two days off, so surely one of those days. I'm not sure. I think it's Wednesday and Thursday? Maybe? One, two, three, four. Oh, I think it's Tuesday and Wednesday. One of those days I'll stream, but either way. <laughs> I got a job at Joanne. <laughs> I I cut fabrics and I work at a register. It's kind of scary cuz you get a lot of people. <laughs> a lot of people, sometimes not that nice. <laughs> but uh I I like it there for the most part. It's pretty nice. I just it's a lot of hours. I don't have a lot of time to do other stuff, but um, hopefully now that my family situation is settled down, hopefully I'm not gonna suffer as much with being busy. Uh, hello? Are we back? I think we're back. Yes, I'm back! <laughs> Alright. That sucks. What even is my internet? It, you know, ow. Ah! I, I, I hurt myself on the gun. I never ever cut out internet except when I'm streaming so I'm wondering if it just I don't know what it is the curse of streaming I guess um sorry about that <laughs> welcome back to my stream says Dadgers <laughs> I'm sorry guys I I don't know what's going on I, I'm not gonna be at this apartment much longer though so there's that <laughs> Okay, there's still glue stuck to my arm from when I just accidentally touched the hot glue gun. That hurt. Ow. Okay. What was I saying? I don't know because I don't know when it cut out. Um, not anywhere far. I'm, I'm staying in the area, but... Oh, yeah, I'm okay. <laughs> it hurt, but I'm over it now. Thank you. <laughs> Um, yeah, I'm not planning on moving far. I'm staying in the area, but... Oh, I see. Camera 2 has died. Great! Because I like, I like to be near my brother and my parents and, uh, Fel and my sister, but... Is this gonna work, or am I gonna have to... I'm gonna have to fight it. I think I'm gonna have to fight it either way. But yeah, I don't know where I'm going to move. Um, I have to move. I don't have a choice because uh, my sister and Fel are having a baby. <laughs> um, they need this room. I don't. I don't have a choice. I have a few months to get my butt out. So, as much as I would rather focus on streaming and fursuit making, which is what I love. Instead, I have to work at Joanne's so I can afford to live somewhere. <laughs> so, in case you're wondering where I went. <laughs> Yay, right? It's weird. It feels weird. I don't know. I don't know how to feel about it. It doesn't feel right or real. <laughs> oh, my mouse is disconnected. Fine, I didn't need it anyways. I'm trying to get that cam working. We back up? Yes! Awesome. <laughs> I will tell him that you said congratulations. Well, them. I'll tell them. Not just, not just Belle. I'll tell my sister, too. <laughs> I, does that make me an ant? I guess that makes me an ant. Ooh, that's weird. I don't like that. I don't know how I feel about being an ant. Okay. Um, Squeaker next. Squeaker! So... <laughs> Hello? <laughs> I just saw a sad crying face go across the screen, so that made me laugh. Am, am, am I back yet? Because <laughs> I'm still getting error messages, and that's not, that's not good. It looks like I'm live. I hope. Mr. Wolfs and I were just squeaking while we were waiting. I, I, this is just terrible. We shouldn't have to deal with this. I'm so sorry. 
Hopefully after I move, the internet will be less garbage. Mr. Wuss, I can't see you. You need to- you need to move over here, so everyone can see. So, am I live? Can anyone see me? Or is it just me alone? Cause, you know, it's... I'm used to that. <laughs> I- 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 oh. Hello? Skeletro! Is that you? Are you here? Is my stream live? Cause I just- it just- it just- it just cut out! <laughs> oh my gosh. I just had this awful, awful cutout of my stream. It was gone for like five minutes. And the first thing that happens is Skelefro subbing. <laughs> Thank you. You are ridiculous. Thank you for that. <laughs> At least I know I'm live again. Big Ma says hi, Skelefro. <laughs> okay, good. That's good. Now that I know that I'm actually live. Gosh, things are just terrible. Why? Why? Okay. I was trying to say, depending on how you built your nose, I mean, if it's uh, sculpted, 3D printed resin, whatever it is, you might not be able to add a squeaker, obviously. But if you make your noses like me, where I literally just built it, out of foam and sculpted it just like everything else this this is how I do it so if you're following along you know it's if not whatever slap a nose on there whatever whatever you want to do with yours but this is how I'm doing mine and you can follow if you want <laughs> you ain't seen a stream without technical difficulties right oh my gosh this camera camera B over here has been giving me trouble all night but not as bad as the internet. The internet's been the worst bad guy. Alright, so I'm gonna have to get a really good camera angle for this. Okay, there's a good camera angle of my ice cream pants. Ugh. I don't think I ever bothered to wear, like, nice clothes when I'm streaming. It's just my favorite shirt and a pajama pants. It's always, it's always one of my favorite graphic tees, though. Oh, well, hi there. <laughs> Thank you for cheering fits and hello. <laughs> Scottish gaming, that's fun. It is so squish. It's squish. <laughs> yeah, who needs to dress up for a stream? I'm just lucky if my hair doesn't get staticky. Okay, so basically we had to have the entire nose completely sculpted first off, which it is, it's here. Uh, I'm trying to get you guys to see the shape of the nose by just kind of surrounding it with my silly hands so you can kind of see what it looks like. So once you have the shape, basically you just need to cavity it out just big enough to fit the squeaker inside. So you're going to want to make, you're going to first want to decide which direction you want the squeaker. Probably not up and down because it'd be awkward to squeeze a nose sideways. You probably want to squeeze it like this. So given that information, you're going to probably want to stick it at like a 45 degree angle down this way, right in the center. <laughs> you wear shorts, I dress up as a unicorn. <laughs> That's amazing. I would not have known you wore in shorts either unless you told me. <laughs> um, I was I was doing a SpongeBob recording uh let's play with Who Needs Normal and he was wearing a unicorn not a unicorn. What is it? It was a pinata, one of the Fortnite pinata things. <laughs> and that was pretty funny. Alright, so I have to see the sculpture within. Basically, you want to still have some, you don't want to hollow it out too much or you'll screw yourself up, but you just want to hollow it out enough. So usually I'll just kind of pinch my way in there with scissors and just slowly start removing some thin layers of foam, a little by little, until I can 
squeeze that squeaker in there. Because if there's too much space around it and you try to squeeze it, it's going to be all air space. And you just want it to fit perfectly snug. <laughs> I love that. Unicorns are awesome. I love unicorns. Not as much as I love some other mythical beasts, though. Like, manticores and griffins are, like, so cool. There's a lot of really cool, like, mythical creatures. I One day, one day I'm gonna make a dragon fursuit. You'll see. Oh, okay, Sonic. Thank you for hanging out. It was good seeing you. After I've been gone so long, you know? Bye-bye. <laughs> Unicorn is our national animal. <laughs> I don't know if that's real or not, but if it's not, it should be real. Because that that would be ideal. That would be a good life. That that would make life worth living. This is really hard to show because it's, I can barely see it myself. It's just a tiny little hole here. Also, boy, I sure need to get my scissors sharpened. Or just get some new scissors. These are pretty ratchet anyways. <laughs> They've seen lots of things. What? That's awesome. <laughs> okay, if your name was Scottish Gaming and then you were not Scottish, I'd be like, huh, that's interesting. <laughs> I wish I could do your your accent. It's so cool. Instead, I have like a, a northern United States accent. It's like the lamest thing ever. It's not even like a cool southern accent. It's just... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, uh, do, you, do you stream games or do you just like playing games? Because if you stream, I should follow you too. Alright. This is going. It's going. It's going a little slow, but you know, it's going. Oh, we followed! <laughs> Thank you so much for following, I appreciate that. Every little bit helps, really. <laughs> See, like, if you're really Scottish, that means you're top tier, you know? It's You're not fake Scottish, you're real. <laughs> that's so funny that that's what people ask. They're like, are you really Scottish? <laughs> I've never had anyone ask me if I'm really American, you know? <laughs> Alright, this is going well. I might try to stick it in now and see if it fits, but it probably won't. But it'll just help me kind of see how much more I need to dig out. Oh, I need to dig out a lot more. It's not, it's not going in there. Alright, I guess I could get a little bit more wild with the amount I'm cutting out because that's a that's a pretty big squeaker in comparison to this. Ooh, that was a new one. I don't know what that sound means. Oh <laughs> Scalabro please why you do this? Uh. Why do you do this? <laughs> Thank you! That was really sweet! <laughs> That's so funny! Americans are like, are you Scottish? <laughs> oh, what? No! Oh gosh, there's too much generosity in the chat. I think I'm gonna just keel over. Uh, thank you guys so much! Oh, too nice! Too nice people! Too many nice people! Wow, you guys. Thank you. <laughs> uh, oh, Jelly, how you doing? It's been a good bit. I hope you're doing well. Alright. I'm gonna do, like, one or two more snips, and I'm gonna try to stick it in there again. We'll see if it'll fit. But I don't think so. That's just trial and error right here, I guess. Oh? Oh, it almost fits. <laughs> could be worse. Oh. <laughs> the struggle. That's true. I guess it could always be worse. <laughs> I, 
I hope at least you get to take a nap soon, you know? It's like that that fixes everything. You can't have a bad day if you're taking a nap. <laughs> You'd think he's just in a box somewhere. He's he wants to he wants to be a beluga whale though. He does. One day I'll get around to working on him again, though. <laughs> You're back. Hey, Avengers. Um, I've already got foam in my hair, so that's great. I'm always worried that people will see the foam in my hair. Like, if I forget to, like, shake it out or it statics to me, they'll see the foam and they'll think it's dandruff or something. And I'm not, I don't, I don't want that. That doesn't, that doesn't look good. <laughs> Yeah, you could be bald and have a big nose. <laughs> Poor Squidward. All right, so it kind of fits, but obviously it doesn't fit all the way. We still got the squeaker sticking out. And I don't know, it's up to you whether you want the squeaker to face inwards or outwards. I have no preference. I've done both. Usually I'll just stick it inwards, but um, I, I guess it's just a personal preference. Either way, you got to make sure you have a spot for this and you need a spot for it to fit, so I'm gonna keep carving. <laughs> OMG, look at that massive dandruff. It's just like only right down here, because it statics to right here, and it's just a ton of little busts. <laughs> like, okay, because I work at Joanne, you know, like in the Christmas time with all the glitter and all the the fake little snow things, it's like <laughs> At least I'm not the only one ever covered in glitter at that place. Everybody's covered in glitter. If you work at a place like that, you don't get a choice. You will be glittered. Alright, this is really hard. I'm gonna switch scissors. Those scissors aren't up for the task, but maybe these guys will be. Woo! Oh, boy. Okay. Those guys are definitely stronger. Oh! What am I doing? Because this is... This is a nose... Um, I'm just putting, I'm putting the squeaker in the nose, so right now I'm kind of just making a little hollow in the nose so we can stick it in there. Yeah, that's what we're doing. Oh yeah, my adult job is fine. I don't hate it, but I do hate how much time it takes away from streaming. Because that's, I, I, this is the first time I've streamed in many days, and I'm very sad because I miss it. It's fun, and I like talking to you guys, and... I just, I, I just work too many hours. I don't have time. It's, it's terrible, but I also need money. So, you know, <laughs> Ugh, I hate being an adult. I really shouldn't be complaining. Everybody has to suffer the same thing. Oh, this is, um, this is still Ren, actually. So it's the, the gray wolf. And I cannot wait to fur it because, boy, the gray, the gray fox fur that we got, it's, it's arctic fox or deluxe fox, whatever you want to call it, it is so luxurious. It's such a nice fur. Like, I cannot wait. I'm sure that she is going to love it because I love it. I'm so angry! <laughs> I think this is either the fourth or the fifth time I've cut out! Okay, we're back. Thank you for telling me we're back, because I can't tell, apparently. <laughs> what is this? This has been the most cut-out stream I've ever had. Legitimately. It was four or five times. <laughs> Clover out of context. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you better feared. <laughs> yeah, okay. So that happened. Sorry about that. I guess I'll repeat myself because I don't know what was heard and what was not. Oh! Thank you, Avengers! <laughs> wow, everybody is being so nice to me today! <laughs> I haven't streamed in months. I didn't think a single soul would show up. And then, not only is everybody showing up, but they're being supporting. <laughs> in, in multiple ways, I should say. <laughs> it's also been half a year since you first watched this furry woman. It is I, the furry woman. <laughs> I'm just
just gonna keep my beard for a few minutes. I wish! You know, I, I, the worst, I guess the closest I'd ever come to that is if I'm getting annoyed, I, I have ripped pieces off the foam rather than cutting it with the scissors because, frankly, sometimes I, even I have my limits. I think that that's the closest I've ever come to ripping a fursuit in half. <laughs> Yay, well, I'm glad I'm back. Hi, Ren, how you doing? We're putting the squeaker. Okay, so what I was saying before it cut out for the umpteenth time, um... We don't want the squeaker to be completely flat, and we don't want it completely straight up and down. We need that nice 45 degree angle, because that's exactly the way people are going to squeeze the nose. So that's the way I carved it out. And you can kind of see, I have my finger in the other end here, because it's kind of too thin right here. I'm going to have to add some thickness on the inside here, because I shouldn't be able to see my, uh, my finger through here, but that's okay. I will do that after. First of all, let's put this in here. And it fits perfectly. It's nice and snug. It's not too tight, but not too loose. <laughs> I was about to say, what if it, what if you answered yes, but it wasn't your first suit? Well, <laughs> so then I, that would that would transition to the time to the story of the time I got arrested. <laughs> yeah, the, if you if you destroy someone's first suit, that's that's a good way to get yourself in huge trouble. Yay! I did do the thing. I did the thing. <laughs> oh yeah. I that okay. So I guess I, I I guess I lost more than I thought. I didn't realize that much of the stream cut out. Thank you. Yeah. I don't, it's at least it's not a bad job and I like it. As far as jobs go, like I really don't I don't dread it and I've had a lot of jobs so I can t I know I know what I'm saying when I say this is not a bad job. I just dread the part of all the time I lose to work on fursuiting and stuff. Okay, so now that it's in there, I can cut a new foam piece to kind of just close that up. You might not need to, depending on how it looks, but personally I need to put a tiny bit of foam here to close this nose up because now it's kind of just a little bit open here. And for once in my gosh darn life, the glue gun is heated up. I hope you're proud of me. <laughs> All right, so I'll just, I'm sorry, I keep bumping the camera. I'll just grab a little scrap and uh, I'll try to cut it to fit this little hole. Y yay, I know, right? It's so satisfying squeaking the squeaky nose. When I finally remake Figby, I'm gonna definitely have a squeaker in a nose. Alright, so just like before with the the entirety of the fursuit head, we're going to just try to cut out very specifically shaped piece to fit in the puzzle uh, so that it just, it, it fills all the holes without being a problem. It doesn't stick out weird, it just fits perfectly in. So I'm just going to trim it a little bit until we reach that point. There we go. That's fit, It's fitting pretty close. <laughs> Don't burn yourself with molten plastic. You know, I wish you would have told me that maybe a half hour ago when I did that. <laughs> okay, this is pretty good. I might have to add another layer, actually. So the reason it's sticking out like this is because it's not just flat, it's actually angled like this, because the way the nose, uh, the squeaker is angled. So I might have to add two layers, we'll see. I'll glue this first one in, and we'll smooth it out, and then... Oh, yeah, don't glue directly onto the squeaker. You can glue the foam around the squeaker. I would not glue on the squeaker. And the reason for that is every time you squeak it, it's going to, like, shift anyways. And it's going to, um, it'll just disconnect from that glue anyways. So it's just going to be a waste of glue and make your fursuit head heavier. So don't bother <laughs> gluing the squeaker. <laughs> what about Figby's tail? Squeaker's going in there too. Yeah! Oh my gosh, totally. See, oh. Oh! <laughs> M-E-G-X. Cool, thank you for following. I appreciate that. 
Yes, um, totally. So, a few months ago, several, actually several months ago, <laughs> I actually made, like, a, a partial tail, like, a mini tail for Figby when I just went bowling and I didn't want to go full suiting or if I just wanted a small tail. So, I just made a little mini tail and I did put a squeaker on the end of that one. I hadn't even thought about it until I think it was Ren was asking if I could put a squeaker in the tail and the nose. I think you were the one that told me that we should try that. And I was like, yeah, that's a good idea. There's like so many cool ideas that I've gotten from all of you guys that I never would have come up with on my own like that. Okay, so one layer was not really enough. I'm going to smooth it out just a little bit, just really lightly make it round again. And I'm going to add just one more layer on there. But it just needs to be a thin layer, so now it's time to get out Exacto Blade. Yeah, it was you. I knew it was you. Okay, because, yeah, I was, I never would have thought of that. Okay, that one needs a new blade. It's not doing. We'll try this one. I just need to cut a really thin layer out, because I don't need a half-inch thick foam for that. I just need a very, very thin amount, so... I'm just, I'm just cutting the thin piece off this one inch thick foam. Boy, it feels great to be back. I just, I just love working on this stuff and talking with you guys. I hope you are all doing okay. Oh, cool, Emmy, that's awesome! Rabbits are fun, I love rabbit suits. Are you gonna try to do it? You totally should try to do it. <laughs> the jelly, I didn't even see that pouring glue inside the nose. <laughs> right? Oh no! <laughs> I hate that. Oh, I, I do not like... It's not... <laughs> Gross. I don't want to think about that. It makes my eyes watery just thinking about it. Alright, just putting a light layer of glue here because I just need to hold this tiny little chunk on there. I don't need it to hold lots of heavy weight, so. Something I'm uh, definitely improving at over time is knowing how much glue to use because more glue, you either you use too much glue or you use not enough glue and that, that'll mess you up either way, because too much glue can malform it, and it makes it heavy, and too little glue, it's not going to stay. Then you got to glue it again, and then it ends up being too much glue, and yeah. <laughs> Fursuit maker problems, I guess. <laughs> the glue just makes Ren stronger. <laughs> Literally. Oh, dude. Ride a dirt bike in a bunny suit. See, that would be awesome for photos and, like, slow-mo videos. But then you have to wash it after, and that just takes so much effort. As long as you don't get super dirty, I guess it'd be fine. <laughs> oh, allergies are terrible. I used to I used to have spring allergies when I was a teenager, and... I don't, it was, it was awful. It was just awful. So I'm glad I don't have that anymore. But boy, I feel so bad for people that have allergies, especially to animals, because if you have an allergy to an animal, it's so hard to have animals. Also, people that are allergic to peanuts, that sucks, because peanut butter is awesome. I could live on peanut butter and pasta. Pasta encompasses mac and cheese, by the way. Oh no, Ren! <laughs> just what you needed, just a light layer. <laughs> I, I, I'm just gonna... I'm gonna be really cool now with my double glue guns. Hot cross buns! <laughs> oh no! Why is that a really good joke? No, I don't. I, the last one I bought was Diamond, uh, and I'm still working on that, so. I, I, 
I feel like I shouldn't buy the next game yet until I at least, at the very least, beat the, uh, the champion. I'm still working on it. But, I know, everybody's been playing, everybody's saying to play it, and, you know, I was expecting it to be bad. I really was, but everybody likes it, I guess. I don't know, because I haven't played it. Has anybody else played it? Le Legends Arceus? Which, it, I guess it's Arceus, like, Arc, but I really want to say Ar Arceus. <laughs> yes! Oh my gosh! You, you knew I was playing Overwatch this morning, because I was, I was, I wanted to be Reaper, okay? Oh my gosh, Napoleon Dynamite's one of my favorite movies, actually. <laughs> Ren, you're hardcore. You're allergic to both, yet you have nine dogs and two cats. What even? <laughs> I guess that just proves if you really, really want animals and you can you can make it happen. <laughs> Truly, Ren, you're very hardcore. Gloomin. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> I like that. That's that'll be my uh my new first person shooter name. Uh game. My first person shooter game is going to be called that. Uh Really? Why why is it good? Why what makes it good? I'm just curious. Okay, so if you're doing something like this, make sure it dries good before you start squeaking it because you could like rip the glue off and stuff. Um Yeah, so I did add another thin layer. I just glued it, I rounded it out, took two seconds. Now, all I gotta do is squeak it. Adorable! I love it! Alrighty. So, now we're at the part that I've been absolutely dreading. We gotta fix this liner. Uh, this is the last thing I planned to do before we tape it up to fur it, so... We're getting there. <laughs> Avengers, good. We can still be friends then. <laughs> what if he hated it? Would you would you be enemies? Yes, I love Napoleon Dynamite. It's ridiculous. It's so funny. I I can't explain what makes it good, but I know it's good because it makes me laugh. And every time I watch it, it gets funnier and funnier. It's just such a a non movie. It's just bizarre. Oh no, Ren! <laughs> I imagine you being, like, making a sad face and just holding a, a tissue box like this, but you're also, like, petting the animals at the same time. <laughs> allergies suck, man. Why does allergies have to exist? Alright, so this is the original balaclava. Um, so the problem is, when I originally made the balaclava, um... Basically, I accidentally had it too far slid in one direction or the other. I don't remember which, but frankly, uh, by the time I, w I was able to trim it to try to make it fit right, but after I did that, then it was too, the hole became too large, and the only, the only option is to rip it back out and put it back in correctly, or to trim it to fit. I tried to trim it, because I knew if I ripped it back out, I was gonna have to replace it anyways, so. Trimming it didn't work, so, yeah, I have to replace it. So I can, I can take the same balaclava and put it back in there. However, I don't like to do that. If I have to take out the balaclava, I like to replace it completely, because, as you can see, it's just covered in the glue, and, frankly, it's not comfortable. If you put this on, and then you have this, and then you have another... It, you can you can feel the glue specs like only it would have been fine if I didn't touch it like originally because this would have been stuck to the glue in those spots but because I'd be reinstalling it then you you just you'd be able to tell where these glue spots are and it's not as comfortable so uh yeah first time around if you if you just put it in there and you glued it then it, it's fine. And I'm disconnecting again. Yay! Oh, boy. My favorite. Ha! 
Hello? <laughs> am I still here or am I gone? Hello? <laughs> Hello? <sighs> what is this? What is this? Why am I disconnected? Please, I just want to stream. Please, am I back? <laughs> okay. I can't see the chat, but I can see the chat on the screen. What the? What the heck? <laughs> I was gone and now I'm back. Oh, and you cheered more bits, Scottish game. Thank you. <laughs> I'm glad I'm back. I don't know how long I was down. Um, I can't even see any of the chat. I can only see the chat that's showing up on my screen. Uh, what do you mean I wasn't down? It said I was down. And also, I couldn't see the chat, but I can see it now. The chat's back. Yee! I love the hearts. It kind of makes me, whenever there's a ton of, like, a, a like a spam amount of things on the screen, it kind of makes me want to turn on, like, the windshield wiper. Even though, you know, that's not a thing. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm sorry, that was probably really annoying. I'm, like, an old person. What? Where are you? I don't see ya! And meanwhile, like, you guys are like, we're right here. I just, I just want to clean the screen, man. Just gotta, gotta clean it. <laughs> I was doing the damage sound. Oof. Also, uh, I did, I did read. Let me, let me catch up for a second. Also, glue man contracts. That's pretty good. And glue man, glue money. Avengers. I have never seen that on VHS. I have it on DVD. I didn't even know it released on VHS. And where- they actually- you've been to the place they filmed Napoleon Dynamite? What? Can I go? <laughs> where was that? I want to go there. And Micah, I was gonna say, my goodness, hi! How are you? It's been a while. It's been- it's my fault, but I've been busy. But, boy, it's so good to hear from you again. You found it, Hillary. <laughs> okay, Scalifro, bye-bye. Okay, I was complaining about this. Basically, if you have to rip it out, you can use it again, but I don't want to because I'm I'm too professional and I don't like the way it feels. You can feel the little glue. So instead, I made a new one. Ta-da! All right. So this is hard. It's, it's, it's harder than if I would have started it. Be like, you know how we put the balaclava on and then we made the head around it? That was easier than this. This is gonna be hard. I'm not looking forward to this. We gotta get this liner in this head, and it's, uh, let's go. <laughs> okay. So, just like before, we're gonna have the liner just like this, just gonna stick it in the head like this. So this, this, uh, this seam here is gonna be facing out. It's not, you don't want it turned inside out because you want this nice piece on the inside for the person. So, like this. Okay. Good. So just line it up the best you can. All right. So you want this piece to end like right here on the chin. You don't want it to go too high up to the lips because then you, it'll be awful. It'll be awful to wear. And you don't want it to go down here too low because you need you need it to catch that sweat on your chin. Trust me. It's gross, but uh, trust me. <laughs> okay. Um In the past I've had trouble where I cut the hole too big, but this one is perfect. I actually did re redid my balaclava liner pattern just for this because I was getting annoyed at the original one cuz it wasn't good enough for me. So, if you need to make a liner, a balaclava if you don't want to buy it, you can make it yourself, it, but it does ha help to own one already because you can copy and steal its pattern and then claim it as your own. <laughs> yeah, 
So I just, I, I took another balaclava that I owned already that I liked, um, and I just laid it down flat. I traced it on a paper, and I adjusted it the way I liked, and then I was able to make it into my own pattern with my own adjustments and such. Alright, so here's the hard part, right? We gotta get the head on there without sliding the balaclava at all. So, <laughs> alright, I think that was downtime number six, but who's counting, am I right? Please tell me I'm back. Am I back yet? This is stupid. I am so done. You're just trucking along. <laughs> you guys are you guys are great for sticking with me through this. I don't know why it's of all nights, I've never ever had this much trouble. Uh I did I did see that you said this is why we can't have nice things. That would make me laugh. Oh, yes, Micah, I need to talk to you about that. Um, obviously I've been out of commission for a while, but now that I'm back, today I've been kind of, like, touching base and, uh, contacting people. I needed to talk to you about your commission, so thank you! <laughs> um, I'll get more details and I'll talk with you after, um, well, at least I'll send you a message after I'm done streaming, because I don't know if you'll be asleep or what, but, yeah, <laughs> I didn't do the damage sound this time. I, I want to know exactly what damage sound I did. Because I can do the oof sound, but... Oof. <laughs> I don't know which one. <laughs> Figby, I don't sleep. <laughs> Micah, that's so pitiful. <laughs> oh! I'm sorry, Avengers. Yeah, that one didn't show up, at least for me. I, I, saw, that, I saw that you said you went there, but yes, please tell me more about that later, because that's so cool. <laughs> it sounded like damage after a critical hit. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna have to, like, take out that sound bite, and we can use it as, like, you can, I can, I'll make it so you can redeem points to play the sound bite at any time. <laughs> Since this, uh, um, since this episode, this, this stream got split into so many points, I'm gonna have to s stitch it together in, uh, my editing software after this, so when I'm going through, I'll see if I can find that sound effect that I made, and then we can, uh, I can, I can make it a sound effect that you guys can play at random. Alright, so in case you missed it, basically I put on the balaclava, made sure it was perfect, and then I was very careful to put the head on top without sliding or stretching the balaclava. <laughs> without waking the worm. <laughs> Micah, right? Like, that's so funny. It's so funny that we can tell when each other is like <laughs> playing. It's so fun. Okay, that's great. That's awesome. The points works. I mean, at least the, the bald works, because my hug command wasn't working. It, it just... It's still not working! I broke my hug command! I didn't... I swear I didn't do any changes to anything. It's just my hug command doesn't work anymore. It has been a while, but when I was, uh... This past week, I was kind of stuck. Well, uh, stuck is a rude way to put it, but I had to help family, and I've been stuck, especially this past week. Uh, I didn't have a lot of time to... I mean, I didn't have a lot of... Basically, once in a while, through this past week, I had the chance to play Diamond, but I didn't have internet. But at least I did get to play Shining... or er, Brilliant Diamond for a little bit. Because other than that, yeah, I haven't touched it since I played, uh, Mystery Dungeon months ago. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. I have this perfectly aligned. I made sure of it. It's, it's, okay, now I'm a little bit nervous that it's not perfect, but I'm gonna make sure it's perfect. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna glue key points, and then just continue to glue it until it's done. So we'll glue, we'll start with the, the easier spot, like, probably the side, the sides in here, which, by the way, 
Another reason you shouldn't have put glued your eyes in yet. You need you need to be able to get access in the head through the eye sockets. <laughs> oh my god. Um th I'm sorry. There's I, I like SpongeBob, as you can tell by my bold and brash. I'm sorry, it was a SpongeBob reference. There's there's an episode of SpongeBob where Squidward's trying to get SpongeBob and Patrick to to grab what was it? A mattress or something? Mr. Krabs' mattress or something. And he didn't want them to wake the worm. And he's just like, go in there without waking the worm. And Squidward doesn't have fingers, so he just kind of... I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, yeah, I could see why that would be confusing. Well, I tried to hug you, Avengers, but it just didn't do. It didn't, it didn't do. <laughs> yeah, Shrek in the background, just like, hi. Did we ever find Donkey? No! No, I did not. I did not find Donkey. I'm actually getting a little bit concerned. I can't find Donkey, and he's like five times more cursed than Shrek, so you know, it's like, I really wanted you guys to see Donkey. <laughs> I have one more place he might be in. I just didn't want to go through it because it's really messy, but it'll be worth it. I'm going to look for... Thank you for reminding me. I will find Donkey, no matter what it takes. Yes! It was when they threw away Mr. Krabs' mattress. Yeah, it, <laughs> he was in a cash coma. That's what it was. That was funny. I love SpongeBob. I actually have a lot of the seasons sitting over there at my uh, desk over there. All right, I'm sorry I'm blocking the camera with my face. Alright. I'm doing the chin first. I know you guys can't really see in there, but yeah. <laughs> Sorry. If I could get it to line up, that would be great. This is actually a very particular spot. Like, that's why I didn't want to do the liner. Gosh. Oh, the liner is so particular. Just gonna, I'm just gonna do the main points. Like, first I'll do the chin, and then, like, this, this area along the side, and I'll do the, go through the eyes, do the sides of the face, then the, up here on the forehead, and then I'll actually take it off, and I'll do the spots on the back of the head. Well, I watched season one, like, religiously, so I just love Spongebob. Well, the first few seasons I watch a lot. I don't know, I feel like that was season two, but... He's in the castle with his dragon mistress. No wonder I couldn't find Donkey. That's where he was. Yeah, nobody... I, I mean, even as a kid, I felt that was kind of strange. That Donkey and Dragon were a thing, you know? Like... I did not, I, I did not like the dragon babies. I did not. Those made me uncomfortable. Especially that there's the one that's like really, really, really red. Like, that's a lot of dragon babies. I, I don't know, man. Maybe I'm the only one. I just didn't like them. Ooh, but you know what was worse than the dragon donkey babies was the, the ogre babies. Oh, I hated the ogre babies. On Shrek. We're still talking about Shrek, I'm sorry. But Shrek, Shrek is worth talking about, you know? It's Shrek, after all. <laughs> that just ain't right. Alright, this is going well. I'm just gluing the chin on here. Now I need to wait. Otherwise, I'll just rip it off on accident. Which sentence did you come back to, Skelefro? Jeez, my hair is attacking me. Like, it is getting stuck in my glasses. Yeah! <laughs> nah, that couldn't have been season five. I've, I've watched so many episodes. There's no way that was season five. There's a few episodes in season five that are good, but... Most of them are not. 
Don't mind me, I'll be back. You can just hear me rustling around in all my junk over here. This is important. This is for science. Okay. <laughs> the archive. So these, I bought these as they came out. So this is the original releases of the box arts. Um, I only have up through season seven because, quite frankly, I couldn't even watch it and I stopped buying them. It was, it was literally unwatchable. I'm sorry if you like any of the later Spongebob, but I don't. <laughs> Um, so season one was always this nice green box art. I love green, obviously. It was season four? Wow. I really thought it was a lot earlier than that. I was guessing season two. We got the hooky. I love that. Pun! I love that. And the hall monitor. And it's got all the episodes on the back. Sorry, turns out this uh, fursuit making stream is really important that we stop for a moment and talk about what's truly important in life, and that's Spongebob. This is awesome. I love the pineapple box, and Plankton is trying to sneak in there. Naughty boy. Oh, yeah, and then there's this box. I haven't opened this in a while. Thanks to streaming services, I haven't really gotten out my box arts in a bit, but... Yeah, it's very same, similar format. You've got the, the box arts here. I love Spongebob. I didn't even have cable growing up, so all I wanted, like, I went to my grandparents' house, and once in a while I watched Spongebob, and then I, I wanted, I wanted to watch Spongebob all the time, so eventually my parents just started buying me the seasons. Look, look, he's getting in this time. He, he's actually getting in this time. Plankton is a bad boy. Alright, so this one's a really cool box art, because it's got a window in there. And more more crazy shenanigans on the cover. Right? I thought it was season two also. Uh, oh, right, right, this is Sea Bear. This is when they started getting cheap, and they started making them all thin. Oh, yeah. Ex Remember when you forget everything except fine dining and breathing? Yeah. So these are fun. But. What do you guys think is the last decent season of Spongebob? Because I think it's four. I will watch five if I have to, but. I'll just show you guys quickly the rest of these, because these aren't as great. Well, these are, I mean, this is a pretty cool box art. They don't make them like this anymore. Yeah. So season five came in two volumes, which is kind of weird. But, yeah. Remember when, that was, I remember season five specifically, because it's the episode Spongebob got amnesia, and he, like, went to the Wild West or something. It was really weird. Oh, there are two volumes of six. Anyways, what is the biggest collection of DVDs you guys have? Is there a specific series that you guys collect, or... Sorry, I accidentally got so far off track. I just really, really, really love Spongebob. Yeah, and I'm gonna need this to dry overnight, too. But, uh, this is gonna... Yeah, I can add some more glue now. Oh, Ren, you're off the bed, okay. Sorry, <laughs> I got kind of boring. All right, I'll see you later. Bye-bye. Have a great night. I will see you soon. Oh, Skelefro, your, your collection is in games, I see. Yeah, I, I haven't seen much of the newer episodes other than the few seasons I had. Uh, like, I've seen very few episodes of the newer ones, but they were so bad. It was just sad. Has anybody gotten to watch the new Patrick Star show? Because I haven't seen that either. I don't know if that's any good. Alright. So again, I need to wait for this to dry. This one won't take as long.
I actually got very distracted last time. Oh, I, I thought there was, were both, are those both in season five though? Cause I feel like they are. I remember that on TV. Cause by that point I did have cable. They're like, who Bob, what pants? And then no napkins. It, the, the commercials for Spongebob were always very interesting. Okay, good news is I got the chin in place. So now we gotta get the forehead in place. And, ugh, I'm sorry. I just really don't want to do this. <laughs> I like most of fursuit making, okay? But I really hate this part right here. Because I don't have much control over it at all. In fact, I kind of need to use gravity to try to get the glue to fall in the right spot. Kind of cursed. Alright, so what I'm going to try to do is get some glue in on the sides right here, like on the cheekbones. But I'm actually going to go through the mouth. I think I might be able to through the mouth easier. Ah, oh, but the hardest part is not, not moving the liner as I go. What is this world? The intro alone terrified you enough to not watch it, right? Well, Skelefro, I'm pretty sure I already know. I'm pretty, pretty sure I already know, but uh, your collection, is it, your collection of games, is it mostly retro or, you know, just kind of a mix of everything or a certain consoles or what kind of games do you collect <laughs> it's, it looks straight out of a nick jr show that makes sense yeah i have a few games for like playstation one and xbox 360 xbox one those are all consoles I don't own. <laughs> I don't know why I have games for them, but, uh, it happened. Hang on just a second. I want to look at what that was, but I also need to make sure this is right before it dries. Such is the life. Okay, got it. I'm good. We're good. All right, what did I miss? Oh, oh, thank you, Scottish Gaming. <laughs> you guys are gonna just make me keel over. You're just too kind. That was very nice, thank you. Pokemon is your biggest series collection. Do you have almost a 50-50 mix of cartridges versus discs? That's a lot of cartridges. Because I, I don't go out of my way to collect a lot of discs, but given how much I own, like, I mean, if you have almost a 50-50, I mean, you know, that's, that's a lot of, that's a lot of cartridge. Yo, I want to, I want to play more Genesis. Those are some good games. Oh, dude, remember that time we were trying to play Sonic and it was like, was it always this laggy? Like when we were playing the multiplayer on Sonic 2? I was, I was doing that with uh, Skelefro one day. I don't think we streamed it, though. Because the stream, we couldn't get the volume to work. It was something stupid. But it was so laggy. That was fun. Good times with, with old school Genesis. <laughs> right? Sonic is good. You know, I've always wanted a Sonic t-shirt, but I've never found one that I liked. Okay, for all my complaining, this is actually not that bad. Um. Ow. <laughs> I did burn myself, but I'm okay. It's part of the job, you see. This is actually not that bad at all. I'm just putting in a little bit of glue and holding it. Yay! This actually might be my preferred way to make balaclavas. It's actually... No, it's not my preferred way. The other way is still easier. It's actually not nearly as bad as I thought it would be. Oh, Skullfro. 
You you know someone who can make me a t-shirt, huh? <laughs> I you know, I have that clover I have a clover cat t-shirt from I think he I don't remember when that was my birthday, maybe. Anyways, you sent me a clover cat t-shirt. And I had um I wanted to take a picture of Figby wearing it. I just haven't done that yet. Because I haven't worn Figby in so long, but I am looking forward to that. Uh, okay, so something I wanted to do in the future, maybe, that I thought would be really, really fun, is make, like, a clover cat fabric. Because you can get, pre like, you can get, uh, you can design something and have it printed, like, factory printed into a fabric. So if I could get a few yards of clover cat fabric, I could make them into bandanas and just give them to people who buy my fursuits. I thought that would be so cool. Imagine having your own company of bandanas. Well, your own company name on your bandanas. Like, I mean, I hate to bring up Don't Hug Cacti, but I'm pretty sure they did that. But we don't talk about them. <laughs> All right. I may not be as popular, but at least I don't do bad things. <laughs> oh, man. Valentine's sucks every year. What I do on Valentine's Day is... I... Nothing, actually. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I'm so pleased. You have contributed so much to this world. I will. I I don't want to annoy you guys. Um Give me just a second. I got to watch this. took damage <laughs> ah. <laughs> that's it that's that's me taking damage ah. my critical hit sound <laughs> that was a lot of effort to find that thank you jelly <laughs> I really wondered what my critical hit sound sounded like That's true. I don't think hugging a cactus would be a good idea anyways, so. I know! Okay, that's what I was, I, was, I was saying that. That's what I did that one year, was I went and saw the Sonic movie with a couple of buddies. But, like, now that there's no Sonic movie this year, what do I do? You know what? Doesn't even matter. I'm probably gonna work anyways. I hate being an adult. <laughs> this is not awful. I do not hate this. I'm shocked to say. The way the way this balaclava is going on is actually very good. Just a little bit at a time. Just taking my time, making sure it doesn't stretch or slide at all. I'm sure it's not super fun for you guys to watch, which I'm I'm sorry. But, at least it's working. Alright. So now the question is, how do I do this? This last piece with the forehead, I want to make sure it can reach. Basically, this, um, this bridge goes out further than the balaclava. Like, the balaclava ends in here. And there's a gap here so that you don't hit your glasses and stuff. So I gotta decide when the good point is to stop gluing it. I don't want to glue the whole thing because... <sighs> or do I? Maybe I should try it on. If you don't know the answer, that's a pretty good way to find the answer. Oh. I don't want to accidentally rip the pieces that I glued already because it's not fully on there. It's just kind of really lightly glued. <laughs> I 
You know, I might be the one person who doesn't care for Synthwave. <laughs> Wow. This is very comfortable. I like this. Okay. So what's the best way to do this? I guess I could just glue my forehead. Maybe don't try this at home. <laughs> but it worked. It looks like a skull! I know, right? It's kind of freaky. Like, how can it look so good but so creepy at the same time? Alright, I'm glad I tried it on. I was able to find the proper spot to glue this. Now if I could just do it, that would be awesome. Okay. Hang on, guys! See, I, I was debating not even showing this on stream because it's not that fun watching me glue this. I'm sure it's not. <laughs> but at least we get to chat, and that's the fun part, so. That's true, Skelefro! That's true. The discounted chocolate is awesome. I, I could live on that also. I do need chocolate. I love chocolate. You know, I really like dark chocolate, but I have to be in the mood, and I haven't been in the mood for dark chocolate lately. I think most of the time I'm into milk chocolate, but sometimes dark chocolate, pretty good. White chocolate, I don't care for. I, It's just too sweet. Maybe it's just me. <laughs> Avengers, it's a try-on stream, right? Okay, so... I've got this whole front part of the balaclava glued on, except, like, the corner of the temple. So I'm gonna glue that quickly, and then the rest of it is all on the back of the head. So once we get that face, that face section glued, that, that was the harder part. Then we can just kind of, like, expand this in here and make sure we just gotta slowly go at it and make sure it's on there good. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> That's exactly what I'm saying. You you go go sit down. <laughs> I'm so good at accidentally insulting people. That should be my new skill. I'll put that on my resume. I can insult you but only accidentally. Yeah, I'm not even going to need the full-size glue gun today, I don't think, cuz this little one is doing the job. I only need a tiny bit of glue for this, so. His <laughs> skills can roast on accident. <laughs> it's like, well, this is a customer service job. And I'm just like, well, I only roast on accident, so. <laughs> All right, this is going well. Sorry, it's taking so long. Glue just takes a long time to dry. Yeah, I don't know. I don't have any plans on for Valentine's Day. Let me see if I work. I'm not sure. I work. I work anyways. Why even bother, you know? <laughs> Whatever. I'll just be a Joanne talking to grandmas about how we finally got Valentine's Day crafts in. Every day they're like, when are you getting the Valentine's Day crafts in? And I'm like, I don't know. It's not my fault. True story. Anyways, I've worked a lot of different jobs before, but never have I actually worked retail. So this was interesting. Though I wish I didn't have to do a, a retail job since I graduated from college, but... You know, life. Life can do stuff to you. I guess I just gotta take what I can get. It's hard to get good jobs these days. <laughs> My mother renamed Valentine's Day to Hatred Day. <laughs> and why is that? Because, you know, um, 
I like Skelefro's plan, where since the chocolate is, like, discounted afterwards, that's, that's a good reason to like Valentine's Day, okay? I like that a lot. <laughs> right? Dude, freaking life. This past, whatever, month, whatever I've been gone, has been absolutely atrocious. And I'm sure you guys could tell that, because I was gone. I'm very tired of life right now. I'm very annoyed. I'm very annoyed. I'm just kind of hoping things will start looking back up again, because there's just so many problems all the time. I just wish things would just be a little bit easier. <sighs> yes, gluing. My favorite. <laughs> you guys are so cute. I know, okay, I can't decide if you're trying to say it's about opportunity or IT is about opportunity. Because I kind of wish I went into IT. I almost did. I almost did. But there were so many other things I wanted to do. It's kind of my problem. I can't decide one thing I want to do. All right, this is good. I am comfortable. Okay. Whew, now I'm staticky. It's because you're in IT, you can't spell. <laughs> oh, I thought you sold your marimba. Dude, have you been playing it lately? My brother who is in marching band, he's got, he's been, uh, doing other instruments in marching band lately, and he's been having fun, so I'm getting jealous of everyone with their instruments. I'm thinking out, breaking out some of my own. That would be fun. I might have to go and find, find your house and take your marimba, though. Yeah, that's all right. I'm sure it'll come back fast, though. I don't remember the first thing about it, actually. <laughs> Step one of what? You've lost me. You know I'm easily confused. <laughs> okay. So here's where we're at. Uh, the entire area around and in the face is glued. So now I just kind of got to stretch it out and make sure it's glued to the rest of this whole head. <laughs> so what I might do is put it back on and glue, use these holes here in the ears to glue around the ears. So that way I'll have most of it glued. Um, I just want to make sure it's in the right spot because I don't want it to stretch too far in certain areas and it would just be... Not perfect, and that's not, that's not what I go for. I go for perfection, so. <laughs> Alright, the fact that it went on easily is great. That's a good sign, I mean. Okay, so yeah, so the holes here, we can, we can pull up a little bit, glue underneath, and yeah, that's, that's great. We can even glue a little under the cheek here. And then, then we'll take it off and glue the top back of the head. Um! <laughs> you already know where my house is, lol. Yeah, okay, my GPS knows where your house is. I personally do not. <laughs> oh, it would take me quite a few days to find your house on memory. Yeah, I am confusion. I'm always confusion. What's the loudest damage sound you've ever made? <laughs> yeah, I do injure myself a lot. I don't... Usually... I don't know. Honestly, I mean, I talk loud, but I don't ever, like, scream or shout really at anything, even when I injure myself. I did scream out on roller coaster before, but you know, like that was short lived, and also, I I could not tell if I was being loud or not. 
I don't know. Very interesting. <laughs> I, I wonder what other times I've made damage sounds and not noticed. <laughs> okay. So gluing in the ear, that's an... Well, going around the ear is an easy spot. Try to make sure you don't get any glue on this actual, like, balaclava right here in the visible spot. But other than that, self-explanatory. Just glue in there. <laughs> did roller coaster dealt emotional damage to you? Yes. Yes, it did. It hurt my feelings because it made me go fast. <laughs> Oh my gosh. I don't, I've never even heard of that skull throw. <laughs> Evil Garfield. What is that? Should I run? I think it's funny how much attention Garfield gets. I was never huge into Garfield, but apparently there's like a ton of people who just love Garfield. And I'm just like, <laughs> okay. I mean, that's great, but I, I just... I bet it was Garfield Cart. As soon as Garfield Cart came out, I'm sure everybody was like, yeah, Garfield is the best thing ever. And then everybody got into Garfield. I probably would not make a Garfield fursuit, even if somebody paid me. But not for the reason you'd think. Not because I don't like Garfield, but because I'd rather not do licensed characters, because then when somebody's paying you to do, like, a, a licensed character costume, that's when it starts getting into legal... Uh, gray area, so. <laughs> it's horror. Oh, makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> Scaredy cat me, I probably would not. Okay, let's glue in the other ear hole. I'm gonna glue the ear hole. I'm wondering if I'm cutting out often in the stream just because of, uh, Fell's over there playing, uh, I don't know what he's playing, CSGO, Apex, something, I don't know. I don't know what he's playing, but it's, it's not something that I, I play, so I don't know, but I'm wondering if our systems are kind of fighting for the internet, because that might be. <laughs> I wish I could glue my ear holes. I got you. <laughs> he got this scary knockoff Garfield. <laughs> That's what it is. I knew Garfield was spooky. I there okay, I've seen so many knockoff Garfield things in my lifetime and it's a it's just funny to me because I didn't even know that many people were into Garfield enough to make knockoff things of it. So it's just I think I've seen more knockoff Garfield merch than actual Garfield merch. <laughs> Can Garfield cart be considered knockoff? Because I kind of feel like it should be. <laughs> and yeah, Jelly, I'm sure he does. Okay, so apparently... Okay, when I was a kid, I mean, bringing, bringing up Sega again right now, uh, and I played Genesis a lot, I had this... Garfield game, Garfield caught in the act, I think, I think, um, I found out just recently that there was actually a Sega, Sega, Sega channel, I think, is what they called it, or it's, it was like a Sega downloadable service, um, and they made special episodes, uh, special levels for that game, and apparently now those levels are lost to time, so that's interesting. Now I'm very curious if we'll ever find those. I, I didn't, I, I was, it was a very hard game. I never got far in it, but still, I did play it a lot as a kid, so. Uh, the first level or so, but, you know, it's, it's interesting. Sega Channel, okay, so I was right. This doll's a fake one from China. Thank you, China, for all the fake Garfields. It's just what we needed. <laughs> All right, so as you can see, we're much further now. You just gotta get the top of the head in the back. And I think I will glue the cheeks on after, maybe? I'm not sure what the best way to do this is. Maybe I'll put it back on and I'll get 
what is that? I don't know the best way to do this. I really don't. Um, because there is no good way to do this. I mean, we could drill a hole in the back of the head, but I'd hate to do that. Um. Okay, so if I could just, I guess I'll just put it back on. I seem to be having the best luck with having it on this head. I mean, I'll just keep trying until we get it. We're, we're almost there. It would have been nicer if I would have just had to not rip off the original balaclava because, you know, <laughs> that would have been nice to not have to redo, but whatever. If it's for quality's sake, I do what I gotta do. Oh, so Teleview, that's a, that sounds familiar. I'm sure I've heard about that before, because that sounds very familiar. That was like the dark age, when they were just trying to figure out internet and streaming. Like, that was way too ahead of its time, like streaming services. But they were trying it. Bless their hearts, they were trying it. <laughs> Agent 47 works for Garfield. I don't get it. Oh, there's glue in there. I didn't feel it. Sorry, I'm trying to catch up on the uh, comments right now. My bangs are misbehaving. I need to bring my comb. That's the thing about straight hair is it tangles itself as you go. So it can only go like a half hour if I gotta brush it. Well, Avengers, I'm gonna have to see that after I'm done here. I'm gonna have to see the fake creepy Garfield doll. <laughs> All right, so I might not even need to glue the cheeks here. I think I will. I think I will glue under the cheeks, but not all the way. There we go. Okay. So basically, I don't want to put too much glue or it'll be uncomfortable. Like, you'll be able to feel lumps of glue. But uh, you don't want to put too little or it'll be easy to rip out on accident. Because you do need some kind of force to pull it down on your head, so... Oh, you sent it to me. Thank you. Oh, okay. See, I've watched you play some of the Hitman, but I don't know which, I don't remember which game it was, and, um, I've never personally played it myself, so. Sorry. <laughs> but, yeah, at least I know. I know a little bit. It looks like a fun game. I need more glue and I can't reach it. Ugh. Uh, yeah, I know. I need to go to bed, too, but, like, I accidentally stayed up all night, so... Might be a, a, a few minutes more for me, but, yeah. It's okay. We're almost done with the balaclava. And you're not missing much. <laughs> Thank you for hanging out. I, it was good to talk to you guys. I haven't seen anybody in a long time so thank you for hanging out Skelefro and <laughs> gifting subs and subbing it makes me feel sad and appreciative at the same time so thank you <laughs> all right is this dry yet all right so I do want it glued around the edge here all the way around on the edge of the foam I think that would be probably the strongest that's my plan, at least. I think that would be nice and strong. Alright. So, my plan for here is, I'm gonna just try to get glue up in here the best I can, as high as I can. Then I'll take it off, and I'll just try to... I'll just try. You know what? That's That should be my motto. I'll just try. Because apparently that's what I'm doing today. Eee! I love that! That's so cute, Scottish gaming. <laughs> There's new Mario Kart DLC? What? <laughs> Since when and what is it? I'm trying to make up those cute, the cute little... Eee, it's little! Yay! <laughs> oh, they're so cute! 
the little rainbowy unicorns. Okay, I hope this is dry enough. We will see. I'm gonna try to, oh yeah. Oh, oh, I'm ripping it a little. It's coming off nice and easily now. That's good, that means it's holding on. Okay, so basically I just stuck the glue gun in here and I went up as high as I could and I put some glue. So this whole top area needs to be glued and the sides here and here. Uh, so. I'm gonna stick my glue gun in there and try to glue up here and just and then I'll just use my hand to try to flatten the balaclava up into it. I don't know if there's a better way to do this. This is not uh straightforward, I guess. Really? Is it how much is it free? I was gonna say is it free, but knowing Nintendo, I should know it's probably not. But I wanna know is how much are they charging or is it free DLC? Knowing Nintendo, they're probably going to charge an arm and a leg. Okay, this is really hard to get the glue up in here. $25 are free with expansion pack. What expansion pack? Is that the, th is that the thing they've been trying to sell? The, the Nintendo membership with the... Uh, what's it called? I'm sorry, I'm drawing a blank. With the new, the new games, like the Sega Genesis games and the emulator games. Yeah, the N64 membership. They're trying their darndest to get people back into that. And, frankly, I'm just annoyed. Alright, so. In my great wisdom, I did mess up a little. Ugh, right there. I got glue. You can barely see it. It's barely existent. But I did get a little bit of glue in there. And the reason is I actually put it a little too thick. And it kind of just soaked through the balaclava. So don't do that either. Um, don't put too much glue and have it soak through. Because that's really bad. <laughs> the, the point of the balaclava is to make a nice cozy liner that's thin. And can help wick away sweat. And if you have too thick glue then it's going to be uncomfortable and ball up, uh, like you'll be able to feel those clumps of glue, it'll just be... <laughs> yeah, you do like the N64. I just think it's too expensive for what it's, what it, what they're trying to sell. I think they should have made it a little cheaper. But, I, it is nice to see that they're finally bringing back some N64 games. Like, it took them forever, you know? Like... I feel like they, they could have really done that ages ago. I mean, they had an N64 on the Wii, and then they kind of forgot about it for a while. I feel like they had some on the Wii U, but nobody played the Wii U, so. <laughs> Alright, how, how long am I going to have to hold this for it to glue? Because I don't want to don't wanna mess it up either, but I don't want to sit here all day. You almost only had to pay like $12 because family membership. Really? I didn't know you could do that with that. Um, with the, really? I didn't. So I know that there's the family membership. So can you get like the family membership with the Nintendo 64 games and bonuses? Like, I'm sure it's a higher family membership, but I didn't know you could get a family membership of that plan. I was not aware of that. Wow, this is really hard. I'm just putting a little bit of glue at a time since I accidentally soaked through that one. Now I'm all nervous that I'm going to soak through glue again. This is fine. Everything is fine. I will be fine. It's been a while since I watched that uh, Hitman Let's Play you were doing. Did you finish that or did I just... Or, or, or did I just finish watching the episodes that... You put out, I, I can't remember. It just, I just remember I watched it and then I was done. And that was a while ago. So I don't remember if you finished or if I just finished what you had. Oh, I see. 
Yeah, so, like, sing, just, just you, it's, like, you know, if you split it with the family, it's, like, cheaper for sure. Uh, I mean, that makes sense, but, yeah, like, I don't know, I, I didn't, I was not aware that you could get the family membership of that, like, that's, that's, that's a little bit more worth it. Because on its own, yikes, it's expensive. But I don't, I'm not, I, I still don't know if it's, uh, the family membership of that. I don't know the price of that either. Like, how many people are you splitting it between? The last one we made was when we went to a neighborhood dressed as a clown. <laughs> Good. Oh, well, that sounds like a fun time. Okay. This is, this is great. I do not hate clowns unless their sole purpose is to be creepy or whatever, like the movie It or other medias that try to make clowns creepy. I think clowns in general, I, I think they're fun. You know? <laughs> Squeak the nose and just kind of bounce around. It's so funny how cartoony they can act in real life. It's crazy. It's They have clown schools, for crying out loud. They train for that. It's, there's, there's so much that goes into it. It's really like an artistry. It's like learning how to dance or something. It's like you need to learn how to do very specific movements to look cartoony. And it's just awesome. Like, I, I really give props to people who actually are clowns because it's pretty cool. Like, I'm sure there's some clowns that are like, they just dress up and then they don't do anything fun. But the ones that actually try to do like cool little gags and stuff. Th those are fun. <laughs> I hate clowns purely because of Rugrats Royal Ransom. Oh, that's so funny. It's funny that that's what broke you. <laughs> oh, God. Didn't take a lot. Yeah, I'll probably just watch your playlist again, because I don't- I haven't seen it in a while. And I-, I whenever I like something, I'll just watch it again, because, you know, I- I just sit here and sew for hours. This gives me something to do. And obviously, I don't remember much, so... Okay, okay, here we are. So, I did glue all the way up around in this rim the best I could. Um... Could probably stand to connect down here a little bit better and around the cheeks. So I will do that. And then we might just be done. I mean, this is pretty great. Yeah. So I, I don't know that it's necessary to glue all the way to the edge like this, but I'm doing it. Why not? You know, it'll hold on. I don't need to tuck the fur down into it or anything, so it's I, it's not like I need a, a gap here. Because some, sometimes you need to plan for a gap, but this time I really don't need a gap anywhere, so this will be fine. <laughs> the Rugrats and Royal Ransom clowns, they say hearty har har over and over and hit you with the snow cones. You know, I feel like I was- don't you have an episode of that? Or something? Wasn't there like some- was it like charity? A charity episode or something? It's very faint. I feel like I remember you did something. You you did an episode of that or something. But I don't remember. I, I really don't remember. <laughs> now that's an evil clown right there. How dare he hit you with a snow cone and go hearty har har. Absolutely a jerk. Rude. Oh, ha! That's what it was! Because I recorded some lines for it. That's funny. <laughs> Obviously, I'm completely clueless. I, I have no idea what's going on, apparently. Alright, so I need to glue under these cheeks, but I'm going to put it back on the head to do so. So this should go on pretty easily now, because it's all glued on. 
And it is. It's It went on easily. It looks like it fits well. So I am just going to glue a little bit more under the cheeks where I feel like it's necessary. I need more glue. <laughs> School has been distracting. Yeah, right? It just hogs your time. Like, nobody's business. It really, it does. It takes so much effort. I gotta say that, though. At least I'm not having to study for stuff anymore. That's one positive. Now I'm just in the workforce. <laughs> I don't have to study. I hated studying. Because I couldn't ever remember anything. But yeah, and homework and stuff, it's just... I'm, I'm glad I'm done, and I'm sorry you're not. <laughs> but I'm glad you're working on it. That's really good. I think some people would be better... Like, some people would prefer to just jump into work. Some people would prefer to just do school. I don't know. I think both sucks. <laughs> oh, that's nice. <laughs> Life. <laughs> right? <laughs> that's nice. They've been helping out at church and stuff. I haven't been able to go to church in ages. And by haven't been able, I mean I keep sleeping through it. Gosh darn it. <laughs> I really need to get up early or something. It's just so hard. All right, I think we're good, actually. Well, one more. One more thing of glue right here, I think will be good. All right, I expected this to go much, much worse. Um, This actually went pretty well. I think just doing it little by little, taking a time, uh, taking my time and just doing it, um, it didn't go bad. So if you were gonna do this, I think definitely do what I did where you put it on the head and then you glued down by the mouth and then around the front of the balaclava, around the front of the face, then do around the ears and then just do the best you can with the back of the head. That one's gonna be hard no matter what, but I think that is definitely the way to go. Um, but I, I say that's definitely a last resort because if you can do the balaclava first off like I did originally and not destroy it and not have to take it out, I think that would have turned out better overall. I mean, easier overall. It would have been nice if I didn't have to take it out, is what I'm saying. Because it was fine if it, if it would have just been shaped a little bit better. So, yay. Okay. Well. Let's see. I've got the liner in there. It's pretty well secured. I did get a tiny, tiny bit of glue right here. You can't even see it. It's dark. It's not that much. And I did get a little bit of glue soaking through on the inside. Um, I'll try to show you guys, but it's kind of dark. And it's not that much. Oh, right there. Yeah, right, right, right there. It's not big, but still, it hurts my perfectionism. And there's nothing I can do about it except cover it up or cut it out. And I'm not doing that because that'll wreck it, but... At least it's where your hair is, so you won't feel it. <clears throat> wow, I've been streaming for a while. Not like I could tell how long I've been streaming because it keeps cutting out and restarting the timer. You've been forcing yourself to get up and yes, it is hard. Yeah, right? Huh? I'm so proud of you. It's hard. It's, it's too much effort. Getting up early and then having to do stuff just sucks. This feels great. It's a little bit big on me, but it's supposed to be. Um, wow. It doesn't even feel like you're wearing a fursuit. It's so comfortable. That's how you know you did it right. You don't have anything poking you or scratching you. You don't have anything that's too tight. And all the pressure of the fursuit head is distributed evenly. Except you do have a little bit more pressure on your on the top of your head just a little bit just to hold it in place None of it none of it is on your nose and you have space for glasses um, It's gripping my chin pretty good, so it's not sliding around All right and 
Also, the breathability is great because me and my big mouths. <laughs> awesome. Well, I'm really pleased with how this came out. And we're already done mirroring it. And I talked about everything else, but let me check my list one more time. Eyelids we talked about. Tongues. Uh, nose squeaker, yes. Liner. The fan. My trick for mirroring, how I squeeze the head together so I can kind of mirror it better. And yeah, we talked about all the stuff I wanted to talk about. So look at that. What do you know? I was hoping I could get it all prepared in one stream. We just we just needed this one more stream before we put the uh, the tape on there to fur it. So next time, next time is patterning, and it's gonna be fun. I'm really proud of this one. This one turned out very cute. This is a very cute fursuit head. <laughs> well, it is when I am. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> True. That's really co really cool. I really like it's it's just on there tight enough, but not too tight, not too loose. That's really great. I like this. <laughs> I like this. Okay, well, that was a journey. So, we just kind of went over lots of more things that you should be aware of, like tongue and teeth and muzzle size. Oh, I do need to put in an extra piece of foam in here because the muzzle, the muzzle's too thin right here and you can kind of feel the end of, like, the squeaker. So I'll do that, but I'll do it off stream. I'm just going to add another piece. Uh, you got to be aware of where the fan is going to be. Oh, <laughs> Thank you for following <laughs> Mythomorph. M myth, myth, Mythomorph. That's such a cool name. Oh yeah, you're a great idea. We should do a stream where you make first. Please, please do. It would be so great. That that was a great idea. I know. I'm gonna fur the fur. It's ready. Yay, I got it! I spell- I, I said it right. Okay. Honestly, I'm better at spelling things than I am reading. <laughs> well, thank you very much. It would be a lovely train wreck. Yes, it would, but it would be fun. Yeah, right? Sometimes it's easier to, like, to kind of figure it out and write it than trying to- it's, Yours wasn't even that hard. I've, there's been some very, very confusing names that I just cannot pronounce. It's- <laughs> but okay yeah it's thank you for tuning in um this is it and next time uh we're gonna get out our masking tape we're gonna make a pattern and we will prepare it and then the time after that we'll actually start tracing on furs and yeah so we're really getting there oh, <laughs> oh that's awesome do you make, uh, do you stream too? Because if you do, I, I'll definitely follow you too if you stream. Oh yeah, Avengers, I will totally, uh, hit you up after. I have to catch up on some messages with you. <laughs> oh, cool, awesome, I will follow you. Hey, we can share tips and tricks. That's so cool. It's, there's like no other fursuit makers on Twitch. It's really hard to find. But yeah, then I can raid you. <laughs> <laughs> right? <laughs> All right. Well, I guess I'm done for today. <sighs> Me and my, my ice cream pants. I just, I want ice cream. Oh, wow. Well, that's more than me. I don't think I know of any others. <laughs> yeah, thank you. I'm glad you caught me too. So now I can follow you. Thank you. <laughs> I will do that as soon as I uh, close out the stream before I forget. Well, thank you so much for tuning in, everybody. Thank you. I hope you have a good rest of your night, too. And I hope I get to fall asleep soon. I'll try. Because it is actually pretty late. <laughs> well, thanks for learning with me and just hanging out. So I'll see you next time, guys. Bye-bye. Uh, this time I'm actually trying to end the stream. It's not cutting out. I'm doing it on purpose. <laughs>